In 1858 Texas, Brothers Ace and Dickie Speck drive a group of shackled black slaves on foot. Among them is Dango, sold off and separated from his wife Brumhilde von Schaft, a house slave who speaks German and English. They are stopped by Dr. King Schultz, a German dentist turned bounty hunter seeking to buy Dango for his knowledge of the three outlaw brittle brothers, overseers at the plantation of Dango's previous owner and for whom Schultz has a warrant. When Ace refuses to sell Dango to Schultz and cocks his gun, Schultz kills him and shoots Dickie's horse in order to pin him to the ground. He advises the freed slaves to take the opportunity for revenge. Schultz offers Dango his freedom and $75 in exchange for help tracking down the Brittles. Dango and Schultz kill the Brittle brothers at Spencer Big Daddy Bennett's Tennessee plantation. In turn, Bennett pursues them with an armed posse. Schultz ambushes the posse with explosives and Dango kills Bennett. Feeling responsible for Dango, Schultz agrees to help him find and rescue Brumhilde. They return to Texas where Dango collects his first bounty, keeping the handbill as a memento. He and Schultz rack up several bounties before spring when they travel to Mississippi, and learn that Broomhilda's new owner is a member of the American gentry Calvin J. Candy, the charming but cruel owner of the Candyland plantation, where male slaves are forced to wrestle to the death in brutal Mandingo fights. Schultz and Dango hatch a plan, deciding that Candy will refuse to sell Broomhilda if they try to buy her upfront. They will instead offer $12,000, equivalent to $406,000 in 2022, for one of his best fighters as a pretext to acquiring Broomhilda for a nominal sum. They meet Candy at his gentleman's club and make the offer. Intrigued, Candy invites them to Candyland. The group encounters Candy's slave trackers who have cornered Dia Tagnan, an SKP Mandingo fighter. Dango is forced to intervene when Schultz foolishly attempts to buy Dia Tagnan on the spot to save him. Candy has the tracker's guard dogs maul Dia Tagnan to death, visibly upsetting Schultz. Having told Brumhilda of their plan, Schultz offers to buy her as his escort while negotiating the initial Mandingo deal during dinner. Candy's staunchly loyal and suspicious head house slave Stephen realizes that Brumhilda knows Dango, deduces their plan, and alerts Candy. Enraged, Candy alters the deal at gunpoint to sell Brumhilda for $12,000 instead of the fighter. Schultz reluctantly agrees. During the sales finalization, Candy threatens to kill Brumhilda if Schultz does not shake his hand to seal the deal. Having had enough of Candy's arrogance, Schultz shoots and kills Candy. Butch Pooch, Candy's bodyguard, kills Schultz, and Dango kills Pooch, Candy's lawyer Leonide Mogi, and several of Candy's henchmen, but is forced to surrender when Brumhilda is taken hostage. The next morning, the chained Dango is tortured and about to be castrated by overseer Billy Crash. When Stephen arrives, informing him that Candy's sister Lara, who has taken charge of the plantation, has ordered him to be sold to a mining company and worked to death. En route there, Dango devises an escape plan and uses his first handbill to prove to his escorts that he is a bounty hunter. He falsely says the men on the handbill are at Candyland and promises the escorts a share of the reward money. Once released, Dango kills his escorts, gets his clothes and weapons back, and returns to Candyland with dynamite. Recovering Broomhilda's freedom papers from Schultz's corpse, Dango bids his deceased mentor goodbye and avenges him and Dia Tagnan by killing the trackers. He then frees Broomhilda just as Candy's mourners return from his burial. At the mansion, Dango kills Lara, Crash, and the remaining henchmen, releases the two remaining house slaves, and kneecaps Stephen before igniting the dynamite he had planted throughout the mansion. Dango and Broomhilda watch from a distance as the mansion explodes before riding off together.